Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dignity. This is BSL Hasu League Season 17 Finals. Upper left hand corner, we got Erdmon starting as the Brown Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have Range starting as the Teal Protoss. This is starting off on Invader, a 1v1 map. And it is going to be quite the series. So we have Erdmon, who, like I said, he's been playing fantastic lately. I'm absolutely unsurprised that he, he's here in the finals. And Range, likewise, has shown us some incredible, incredible game sense. Urban tends to be very, very strong against Protoss, and Ranged has shown some very strong games. He's gone through several Zerg competitors to get here. So it could go absolutely either way. And there, I have to say that this season, out of all the seasons I have been casting BSL Hasu League, without a doubt, this is the strongest, as far as just the raw talent across the board of all of the players playing, I think this is the highest median talent that I've seen out of a Hasu League period. Now, being on Invader, where we've got kind of the double ramp at the natural expansion, I think this is one of those maps that tends to favor Protoss players, as they don't really need to worry about a 973 attack with this lower ramp where you can scoot, you can scoot Zealots out if you opt to open up Gateway first. If you go Forge first, it can be a little bit more challenging. Looks like we're seeing an overpool from Urban. Go ahead and play it somewhat safe, which is Typical on a two-player map, if you're worried about initial probe aggression or a gateway first opener, looks like we are in fact going to see a forge opener from ranged. Theoretically, this will allow ranged to potentially end up economically ahead, sending in that probe scout to go ahead and see what he's up against. Urban moving an initial drone out onto the field. We have seen ranged mix it up a little bit and go for the forge as far as a follow-up in the main. It looks like Urban being a little bit clever, hiding this drone behind the mineral line so the probe is none the wiser, is in fact going to go, go into the base. And this is also going to give the opportunity for that drone to drop that hatchery unabated. And with actually the positioning, the spawning pool, the maximum amount of information provided there. So ranged saved enough to go ahead and drop that nexus. But let's see if he's got the response. Erdmon might be able to, we'll see. I'm not sure the timing as far as the distance on Vader. This is a pretty sizable space to cross, so I believe these cannons will be up in time, but there will be a necessity of at least two cannons just in case versus these Zerglings, or a probe pole to provide some additional fence. This is actually a pretty tight wall for range already across the natural, and I'm wondering if this, we are seeing the second photon cannon at an interesting kind of distance, so you can see kind of a an angle to engage troops coming from both the ramp and the opposite location. Zerglings going to take the southerly route, Probe has taken a spot of damage, is going to confirm that additional hatchery, and we do have an extractor about halfway finished before that third hatchery. Overlord's going to make its way up. It's going to see, well, certainly should see this initial cannon. Needs to move out of range before that second cannon is able to get some damage. I wouldn't... So ranged has been known to produce a quick early Dragoon. The Zergling's going to go ahead and fan back out. The secondary problem for Zerg on this map is the ability to deny the scout from this stage out. So Erdmon taking that 12 o'clock, He's done attack of damage on this probe, but the thing is, is even if he takes this probe out, as these Zerglings are making their way back, there's a lot of exit routes for additional probes to make their way on the map to keep eyes on Zerg's drone saturation and a lot of other things. So it's it's going to be... So basically, Urban's going to have to play it heads up. He's already mutating Lair. I expect him to go, to go Spire first and then go into that fourth hatchery style. Looks like that probe finally going to get wiped out, but with the Lair timing, should feel somewhat comfortable. A second Overlord is making its way towards the front. We have that cybernetic score plopped down. So I presume this Overlord's going to go suicide in. I don't like the second Overlord on the field when it's not against Gateway first, because I prefer the Zerglings providing the scouting information initially, just because it feels like another sacrificial Overlord potentially out in the field, uh, maybe leading supply caps in mid game. Second gas being dropped from range. So it looks like he does want to push tech. And this is bef the second gas dropping before we even have a Stargate up. We, it's possible we might see double Stargate with that second gas opened up so early, but very likely going to see a push. Maybe along. Uh, yeah, seeing the flip to Dragoon, actually seeing that Overlord out on the front. This Overlord will be in time, though, to see the cybernetic score and be able to get a little bit of additional scouting information. Like I said, that probe able to sneak around that corner and shoot up to the front.
And it looks like, so chat has informed me, I did not update the names, shame on me. So it says Jiraiya, it says go, it says finals, but it says Jiraiya instead of ranged. And we do, in I do believe this is ranged here in the finals. I mean, it says it right there. So tr trust the map, not the score. Spire's dropped, no fourth hatchery as of yet. The Zergling's actually fanning back. The Overlord going to be taken out by that Dragoon. Stargate has been built alongside, but it looks like we are, or is that gonna be, is this a second Stargate? No, Citadel of Dune, so it is gonna be plus one weapons. So I believe this is going to be something Bisu build-ish. Urban at the moment in the red, but I think he's debating, okay, he did drop a fourth hatchery at the 12 o'clock location. I'm wondering if he's gonna go ahead and drop that fifth hatchery since he's in the red in the meantime. Yeah, gonna go ahead and drop that fifth and continue to saturate up to the 12 at the 12 he's got a pretty healthy drone count right this second but again hasn't gotten a lot accomplished so we're definitely going to go to a mid game a preventative defensive cannon because that spire was in fact spotted at the natural looks like there's one at the main as well initial corsair being built and we do have a smaller gateway count so i'm again expecting a skip of leg speed potentially a Templar Archives and a reliance on Dark Templar, maybe even Shuttle Play, because Ranged has really enjoyed that Shuttle Play. A little bit of an off timing move out right now. So we got three Zelts and a Dragoon. This Overlord that was out in the field earlier, as mentioned, might get taken out, but we got the Zerglings surging in. It looks like the Zerglings are in fact going to engage the Zelts to the north rather than worrying about this Overlord. So Sacrificial Overlord, that's creating some disruption. A Sunken Colony is going to finish here to the north. One drone gets taken out. And Urban scooting back might go for a drone drill. The two, it looks like the Zelts got a little bit separated, so the Dragoon t has been wiped out. But keep in mind, that was alongside with a uh, more rapid Overlord kill. But Urban not taking massive damages, but at the same time, hasn't really surged his worker count to keep pace with range. Range right now, very well saturated across two bases. He does have that Templar Archives up. He's waiting on that plus one weapons. He didn't get a lot, honestly, out of this Zealot attack. Ooh, maybe gets a second drone kill. Drone fleeing currently, both of them actually pulling out. The Zealot wiped out. Okay, finally that drone gets taken out. So Urban honestly donating a couple drones right here, which is slowing his economy down and allowing range to sit back and continue to press things forward. Looks like he is in fact opting for two additional gateways rather than dedicating Dark Templar in the mid game. Oops, did not mean to do that. We have some High Templar being constructed in said, instead. Faster Psy Storm. We have three Corsairs. Right, the second. The Mutalisk's moving out. Able to kill a few probes, actually. So a little bit. I missed that moving out the map. That actually surprises me that Urban decided to move forward. But able to get a few probe kits. At the same time, now surging up to the 40 worker count. The question And adding on a sixth hatchery and plus one weapons for his mutalists. The question now is, is will he be in time? Right now down 20 supply, a very comfortable position for ranged and range can comfortably walk out of that side if he wants to grab a third, go ahead and take it as the high Templar can engage units up here with a little bit of cannon support. With hydrals coming down the ramp from that left hand side, it can be a challenging engagement point as well. Right now, the Mutalist is moving to the forward front, seeing if there's some exposed High Templar. Finding nothing right this second, but they might be able to check that third if they wander down to see the timing. Right now, just trying to get what value they can. Found that Zealot on the front, but now seeing five Corsairs, which will push them back, which should put Urban on high alert. Usually, you see that many Corsairs. Sometimes you're worried about Dark Templar follow-up, and you definitely want to make sure that you priori uh, prioritize the Overlord speed as far as a follow-up. The Zealot's still slow, which should also give Urban an indication he's got to be thinking, okay, where did that gas go? Has he clicked on any of the Corsair to confirm plus one weapon? I'm not sure that he has. That Scourge not, in fact, landing. So the Mutalisk's not fully neutralized, but mostly neutralized. The Zealot's holding that ground, and at third base, now being established. So easy, easy peasy here for range, going all the way up to Dragoon range, starting to cycle out with the Corsairs to see if he can find some overlords, but we already have a good amount of defense, a lot of Hydralisks in place. And Urban, now that he's at the 40, around the 40 drone count, is starting to close that gap. However, he hasn't grabbed a fourth base. 
And oftentimes three base gets outpaced by even two base Protoss sometimes, but definitely gets outpaced by three base versus three base that puts Protoss ahead. We do have a Dark Templar taking the field right now. I'm still looking for a robotics facility in the midst of this. Not that it makes that large of a difference because Herbmon is not in fact cycling up towards, Zel uh, towards Lurkers, not going for a contain either otherwise. Great timing on range. This is what I talk about with Game Sense. Moving up to check that drone that was trying to plop that additional base. He's not able to take it out, but at least he knows the timing of that fourth, which is giving him a signal to maybe start thinking about grabbing a fourth himself. Urban again scattering out with the Mutalisks, trying to avoid the Corsair as best he can. Zealot's just sitting here to provide spotting for exactly this, able to melt some of those Mutalisks already. But now that Overlord's speed is online, and plus one weapons is about to finish, Urban's starting to push forward, get a little bit of territorial, territorial control on the map. He's done a pretty good job of macroing to keep things even. A Dark Templar waiting along the side, which leads to me to believe we're going to see a shuttle eventually. And a Dark Templar trying to sneak in here to the 12 o'clock base. Looks like Corsair moving up right this second to maybe punish the lack of overlords. We, we have several overlords, though, on the low ground. So the Corsair fanning forward. And unfortunately, the Corsair just out of position. The Dark Templar picked off. The Corsair not going to be a threat to anything but those overlords. So just a little bit of bad positioning there by ranged. And I mostly want to call that bad luck on his part. Urban, though with some nice positioning. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Dropping that Queen's Nest now that he's got four bases up. Second Evolution Chamber as well. I don't see any movements towards a fourth from range. It looks like he's just going to sit and macro off the six gateways. He also hasn't dropped additional gateways to really utilize the additional income that he's getting from this third as of yet. High Templar picked off on the front. I was only able to get the sound of it. Wasn't able to get the visual of it. But we have a pretty sizable ball now out in the front for ranged, starting to move out to get aggressive. And a zealot, I don't know, we do have some lurkers finally taking the field. I don't know if these lurkers are going to be in time if ranged gets a move on, though. A lot of size storm in these high templar as well. That's three nearly full high templar, which can bleed off a lot of hydralisks depending on positioning. So things looking really good, and this is a pretty solid engagement point for ranged as well. Lurkers not yet burrowed. Keep in mind, I don't see an Observer alongside of this as well. Finally, bro, the Zealots are going to walk on top of that and get cleaned up. The High Templar exposed. This is huge. One High Templar picked off. Two High Templar picked off. And that was all, all three High Templar picked off. That was massive because that was only a single control group. What, nine Hydralisks for three High Templar? Urban will take that trade all day long. And that is going to force range. So he's scooting back now. That drastically equalizes the fight in Urban's favor, particularly at a close reinforcement angle. That is unfortunate because a lot of Range's plan involved utilizing those High Templar to maybe get some good trades there. Now going to go ahead and expand to the 3 o'clock location. Urban at a dangerous 56 worker count. He's already shelled up a lot of sunken colonies here at the third. Range repositioning there. And it's a pretty close reinforcement point for Urban to this fourth base. However, he does need to start thinking about grabbing a fifth because ranged is grabbing that three o'clock. Bit of an, uh, an attack from the rear from Urban going ahead and clearing out. He's found another stranded High Templar. That's another expended Psy Storm for nothing. And man, Urban really controlling this mid game. And he's not even at plus two weapons yet, able to sneak in and really, and plus two weapons about to come online. He's willing to expend these Hydralisks all day to keep that High Templar count low. Looks like an Overlord checked that upper right-hand corner, found the Zealot there. Hydralisk sees the cannons at the 3 o'clock. That should provide the information. Looks like an Overlord also going to sweep down, so double confirmation there. That also puts Urban into the red for a brief second. So Urban needs to think about pushing out, getting some additional territory, macroing up, or stymieing that base. Right now, he is at Hive Tech working on Adrenal Upgrades. Uh, just a handful of Hydralisks out in the field right this second. There's enough Dragoons to really punish Urban for that, so not going to get value out of these Hydralisks, but the supply count within 10 either direction. The Corsairs currently pushing up. A lot of Overlords exposed. Zealot getting a little bit too feisty is going to pay for his life. It looks like a Dragoon going to get lucky as he was stranded. But right now, Range has done a great job of shutting down all the additional expansions. He's up a base, up 20 supply, right now has plus 2 armor to work with, and might be able to, to stomp on this base here 
at the interior 10 o'clock location. Just a handful of Hydrosks there. And Urban's somewhat delayed. I'm not sure if he had these units hotkeyed up. The Lurker's eating some Psy Storm. More Psy Storm dropping. In a very comfortable position for ranged. But he's having trouble getting his units up the up and down the ramp. So this is giving Urban an opportunity to flank and wipe this army out. The re-macro strongly in ranged's favor. So despite losing, very likely losing this army, he's still going to be in a comfortable position after this. Lurkers planted. The observers need to get out of here. That, and the Corsairs as well. It's pretty. These dra dragoons are or forfeit. So yeah, just go ahead and pull out. That closes the supply count once again. But range doing a good job of remacroing. And right now, by grabbing that bottom left hand base, establishing that three o'clock, he needs to transfer workers from that location. He's already got a robotics support bay up, and he's and Urban has yet to grab an additional base. And it looks like Corsairs are also able to get on top of the Overlord lines. Be a little bit chaotic. Urban now crashing down with that army wipe. We have a Reaver right there, but the Scarabs weren't built, so not in position to defend. It looks like some Zealots making their way down, but Urban is focus firing that Nexus. So it's down. That puts range back to three bases. Looks like the Corsairs have been cleaned up in between. I don't know that they've got a lot of kills here in the background. There's still plenty of a... Uh, Plenty of supply. Urban retreating with his Hydralisks. Looks like there is a single Corsair left doing what it can. The top right has been cleaned up and now it's a dangerous situation for ranged. I thought he was in a good position actually. If he had that Reaver with Scarabs filled, he might have bought some time to go ahead and repel that army. And if he held that base, I would have I would say he's way ahead, but now all of a sudden ranged is behind a good amount of supply. Might be able to deny this hatchery, but potentially not before the shuttles are spotted here at the 9 o'clock location. Urban, does he see it? He needs to respond immediately. This could be disastrous, losing critically the Defiler Mound and that Evolution Chamber. And usually he's very solid in these style of defense, but right now, not... Okay, just now getting in here, but there's going to be Psystorm waiting for him. It looks like there's also a little bit of a battle in between. Ranged a bit delayed uncharacteristically. This might be tournament nerves. He's, okay, finally unloading. Is Urban, it looks like he's mostly distracted at the 9 o'clock. Looks like there's a bit of attack there as well. Finally able to move up and engage. Lost a few workers. He's working on that spawning pool, trying to get some portion of tech out of it. It looks like the Zelts are being pulled off, unfortunately. They're not on a focus fire command. So that's going to get cleaned up. Is there anything left in these shuttles? Or are they just going to try to... It looks like they're just going to park in between. They have a lot of territory they need to cover. A secondary battle now for Urban to try to hold this 9 o'clock and get that up and running. The Observer getting Psy Stormed. So if Lurkers move into this position, they might be able to hold it. Empty Psy Storm to follow up and morph to Archon in between. Urban should be able to reinforce and clear this up. And now, with the shuttles dead in between, ranged in a lot of trouble. Falling apart macro-wise. And this might be because I don't know if he saturated bottom left and the 3 o'clock in rapid response, because his mains mined out, his natural expansion is just about mined out. This robotics facility is not doing him favors as far as mining at that location. Urban's still active on a lot of these bases. Range not able to stop the 9 o'clock. So, and Urban all of a sudden has a sizable bank. A lot of lurkers out in the field. And in, we do have two observers here, but this isn't much of an attack force out for ranged. Plague also upgrading behind this, which is really going to soften up, honestly, a single defiler... Dark Swarm and some Zerglings, even Hydralisks, would clear out bottom left right this second. We've got some Zerglings already going out to probe the 3 o'clock position, potentially. Maybe the bottom left as well. I don't see a Defiler currently in position. This base not saturated. Some drones making out, there, making out that direction to do so. A Zealot getting a little bit of forewarning of the incoming attack now at the 3 o'clock. Dark Swarm there. Are the Zerglings going to make it? Looks like a decent size storm. Just two Zer well, a single Zergling makes it. A few more Zerglings wanting to make their way in after they take out the Dragoon. But you can see even that single Zergling quickly going to work on the cannons. Second staged attack there with some Dark Swarm. And I'm much more concerned, honestly, about this base. Because I don't think there's enough size storm nor reinforcements to get this accomplished. A Reaver in a shuttle able to clean up the 3 o'clock. But two cannons already down. But... It looks like enough Psy Storm was able to clear out a few Lurkers, but with a little bit of reinforcements in the form of these Hydralisks. 
I don't know that this is going to be sufficient. A lot of cannons falling. A Reaver is here, and this is a small gap to punch through. But range right now has lost the entire cannon defense here bottom left, and that's two High Templar that are exposed. That Nexus is down. Now he's down to two bases versus all of the mining bases and potentially a plus one for Urban on top right-hand corner. Going ahead and upgrading Scarab damage, recognizing he's going to need to hold and retake territory. Weaver holding in that back edge. Unfortunately, that is just waking up the Lurkers and Hydra. Ooh, able to wipe out all the Hydralisks to escape without too much trouble. Counterattack moving up for ranged. Might be able to force a hatchery cancellation, but he needs more than that at this stage. Is down 10 supply, and he really needs to be efficient in these exchanges. So starting to move up, a couple Zerg, yeah, and this could just, and it looks like Erdmon not going to bother with the cancellation, is moving in a massive army to engage, planting down lurkers. Where are the observers? The observers are planted over the hatchery. Okay, they do have spotting. A reaver making its way up. Erdmon cycling around. It looks like he is getting psi stormed, so not able to pick that up. So it is going to be a canceled hatchery. But I'm not sure how much of a victory this is for range because he's still expending resources. Urban still has resources to work with. Great side storm right there from him, and that's what he needs. And he's going to try to barrel in maybe towards that 12 o'clock. Urban has heavily upgraded Hydralisks waiting, though, in between. And it looks like another base grab attempt here at the interior six. Some Hydralisks are already moving out to potentially engage that location. Ranged doesn't have the resources to build a Nexus right this second. Maybe wants to cancel this one and instead build it top right. That might be the play. Because Urban still has a massive amount of resources to work with. Where Ranged is just limping resources in off two bases. Big Lurker line moving up. Looks like it's going to get cut off. Range starting to press forward. A little concerned about this maneuver. I would prefer that he try to establish additional bases right this second with what he has. Instead, just peeling off, getting a little bit of damage done and rolling back. He has a massive amount of highly upgraded Archons, though, and those are frightening for any Zerg army. When you get that Archon count pretty high, that is a literal wall of fire. Urban grabbing bottom left in the interim. And it looks like ranged is going to be able to get that additional base up, but he is at an economic deficit. He needs to somehow grab that 6 o'clock or wipe out one of Urban's currently mining bases. That 12 o'clock base no longer mining, so it'd just be dead hatcheries. Massive amount of lurkers engaging this. They are not fully upgraded. They do have plus two final upgrades along the way, but several of those Archons were in fact pick, picked out of that fight. Some additional Archons, maybe they just weren't part of that fight. Looks like they're filling back in. <clears throat> Excuse me, filling back in. Erdman still with a massive economic spread. Some High Templar getting picked off. And this is a dangerous army, very close, and the Archons are on the opposite side. They need to filter down and get back to the right. There is a Reaver there to buy some time. Urban again down 10 supply. Just needs to remax. He's also going to go for Ventral Sack, so he's going to have a drop option to multiple locations. But his mains mined out, so he's going to be down to three bases as far as economic output versus the three for range. So range actually sneaking back into this as far as economic output. The problem for him is his Urban has a massive monetary bank. However, if he can catch these drones... Oh, this is going to be close. Is that just... I think that might have just been out of range's view. That could have been a game swinger right there. Urban finds the army and actually draws it away. So he's going to be able to get it in position mining. And Urban maintains that sizable economic lead and is close in supply, which usually does not spell good things for Protoss. Some Zerglings are grouping up towards the top right. I'm waiting for a Defiler. There's the Defiler. To join the fray. A shuttle trying to bully its way in. Gets wiped out. A Templar does drop. And that is able to pick off a few drones. In the meantime, Dark Swarm in the top right. A few units being sent in piecemeal to try to expend Scarabs and Size Storm. I'm not sure Urban wants to push through that gap. I think he would be better served either attacking the main or... Just making sure he gets these expansions up. Right now, it looks like he might sack an additional base. Sending more units in top right. And ranged. Looks like he... So, a single lurker egg blockading. 
bottom left, does Urban have enough to get there in time to save this base? If range can wipe this out and put it in his favor, that would be huge. Hydra is still standing, trying to get what they can top right. This base has been spotted by a, a drone. Massive army making its way in, but this is going to be a strung out Zerg army versus a compact death ball of Protoss. The Archons, however, not able to get to the front. Good side storm to follow this up. A pylon confidently being dropped by range. He hasn't pile drived into the bottom left yet. And we still have a hatchery interior. It looks like Urban going to build some units right there. The Archon's gone. That's a little bit of a skeleton crew, so it looks like Urban's done it. Was able to get in position and defend. The rest of the unit's going to be expended, and now range no longer has an army out in the field threatening. Bottom left took zero damage thanks to that lurker egg. And that might have even woken Urban up and been like, oh yeah, I need to mine this base as well. So top right is mining. We got a actually sizable reaver count, so that could be sufficient. But this could also encourage Urban to go for a mutilist tech switch. And honestly, if Urban at this late stage of the game went for a massive muta swap, which he might actually anyway, he's going for greater spire right the second. There's not a lot of anti-air out here for range, nor does he have the gas to make the transition. Right now, trying to defend what pithy resource, uh, what, uh, sorry, not pithy, what measly resources are left here at his third. So he's down to two base now with that remaining. Urban might have not done himself some favors, might have expended an army he needed to defend this interior six o'clock. He doesn't even need to mine at it, he just needs to defend it. He is going for a mutilisk switch, noticing the lack of anti air. Some Reavers in that shuttle, a massive amount of High Templar, that's late game Protoss specialty to try to stay in it. Massive Reaver drop, wiping out all the forward units, and actually that might be a base take. Urban, in the meantime, regathering is going to try to maybe strike top right. A little bit indecisive, now engaging. Still two Reavers here that have plenty of Scarabs, so he needs to get in there, wipe them out. Also plenty of Psy Storm. And a shield battery, keeping them alive and well. So range doing exactly what he needs to do to sneak back into this. Taking out that 6 o'clock, if he can establish, it's going to take a minute for that creep to drop. But really, to get the bonus on this, he, want, he should go for the continuation and attack bottom left. Somewhere out here, we have some guardian. We got some latent drones that need to get moving. We got some guardians morphing to maybe try to punch out top right. This is a big win for ranged. Range still threatening the interior 9 o'clock location. Bunch of Zerglings produced there. A lot of Overlords making their way across too. And it looks like this is going to be a drop. Zerglings gathering around that Reaver that has no Scarabs able to wipe that out. The probe's fleeing. And trying to find a drop location. This might just be empty supply that Urban's essentially donating to range. So we're going to scoop out through all of this. Instead drop at the main. Simultaneously Guardians are beginning to attack top right. But Urban just needs to spend his resources right now. He's got a massive bank. He needs to spend it to make sure he's got units to defend anything that Range is throwing out at him. Unfortunately for Range, getting distracted by Urban's shenanigans on multiple locations is not able to hold the, the six o'clock. That's going to be a critical base. The Guardian's now very, very spread. The only anti-air up here was High Templar. So the Guardians actually might be able to wipe out everything that's latently here. Group of Zerglings engaging some probes as they're trying to retake that territory. The Overlord's sweeping back. I'm assuming, actually, that supply was out of that Overlord's. The Overlord's need to flee. They're getting Psy Storm in mass. The Observers got picked off as well. That's actually putting Urban in a little bit of a supply cap situation. The Guardians continuing to do their work top right. More Psy Storm being leveled at them, however. But workers are losing their lives and there can be a, there's going to be a quick cleanup top right and this is range's last oh, that will be range's last mining base drop here at the six o'clock one weaver getting picked off before it's able to get a shot off the second one in fact wiped out there is no observer and lurkers on the ground however the shuttles repositioning there's still soft targets here to stop urban's economy Part of the problem for range is even if he manages to get these drone hits, 
Urban still has a massive bank behind this. Top right is gone. Urban is now sending additional troops towards the main. Honestly, I think if he cleans up these shuttles, that'll be game. Reaver's trying to find a pocket. They don't have any observers getting plagued as well. Still a massive amount of workers for Urban. Zealots trying to find something they can attack. Urban actually even in supply despite everything. It looks like the Reaver's felled by that lurker. Massive kill count on that particular lurker. And Guardians just chewing up a handful of Zealots that are scattered about. Big Zealot attack force for range regathering. Going to attack Urban's rally point. The Lurkers not yet planted. We do have an Observer here on delay. Two Reavers trying to scoop up here as well. Might be able to punch through because Urban's attack force is somewhat scattered right this second. High Templar storming their own Zealots a bit. Guardians moving in and not again, not a lot of anti-air. So it looks like the three latent Guardians that are here might be able to push through and crunch down. What's left of that army by Urban time to regather and re fill his supply. 25, 125 versus 125 right this second. The six o'clock still denied. A worker moving out there. Range trying to re-grab top right. Units being produced on site. The Reavers trying to push in. There's nothing there to destroy except hatcheries. Urban still mining at the nine o'clock in the bottom left. But range running out of troops. He's got two Reavers, two High Templar. That's going to get cleaned up by Zerglings. He's distance mining top right. And this is turning out to be a hell of a game one. More units finally moving up. Urban again, still with a lot of resources to spare. The High Templar able to get one last revenge kill on that Guardian. Top, top right being re-grabbed. But range recognizing he can't hold the follow-up. So gonna GG right there. And what a game one. Urban goes up in this best of seven. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for thank you for listening.